What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video mostly today. Majority of this rumors hasn't been officially stated by Spyglass, hasn't been officially stated by Paramount, hasn't been officially stated by any of the creatives involved. But for months, I've had rumors about Scream 7 tossed at me. Some of this stuff is kind of regurgitated bits of a few things that have already been reported from other people as being rumored, not confirmed by the studios in any capacity. The most recent one that I got did come my way last month or like sometime earlier this month, around the late June time. And before I go into this any further, I do want to shout out Craven Something Scary for their recent video. The most recent rumor I was told was kind of a refresher to something I was already told was the case before the SAG strike and the WGA, WGA strikes even began. So I do again want to reiterate, this stuff is rumored and can change in the blink of an eye. I tend to hold certain bits of info that I'm shared hostage or just put them in a vault as I call it, a mental vault. Because it's worth playing the waiting game and seeing if any of this stuff ends up coming to fruition or if it just ends up being smoke. Now, it doesn't always mean that if it doesn't come to fruition that the rumors were false. It's just that life is very unpredictable and those rumors at the time, given the subject and the nature of them, might just end up being false in the end because life happened and things change. So Christopher Landon began following Scream stars earlier this year. We know this. And I even speculated that what could be going on is that maybe he's going to direct Scream 7. But then I was told that they had definitely talked to him actually about directing. That is, again, an alleged rumor. He allegedly was talking to the people involved with the Scream projects recently about directing Scream 7. This is because Radio Silence apparently doesn't want to keep doing Scream movies, but would rather branch out try other things before doing more screen projects but they are open to staying on as producers and according to craven who again go check out his his latest video craven something scary landon is now following matthew lillard on twitter so i'll address that last so for months i've had the radio silence is it returning to direct room revolted because of the uncertainty of the future and with the strikes that's just another hurdle for everyone involved paramount still hasn't announced seven publicly Viewer or not, I know, claimed that the goal was to shoot it in the fall, which I do believe was the plan. And I did tell you guys that there is a completed draft, allegedly. Viewer or not, earlier in the year, I said they were already deep in the writing process. And then I was told there's a completed draft, and I do believe there is a completed draft. The draft bit was worth sharing at the time to me, so I just shared it. There's just too much that's up in the air right now, though, that could still lead to Radio Silence returning to direct, despite them allegedly not wanting to do more screen movies for now. Then, around the earlier part of this month, again, sometime around the end of June, earlier bits of July, I was told Paramount wants to start production on Scream 7 as soon as the strikes are over. Everyone returning except Matt and Tyler. See, and the fact that I'm still being told that they allegedly won't direct months later, to me, is a sign that even with the strikes, we're still going to have new directors or a new director on board because it's always possible that Landon or someone else managed to secure the director role for Scream 7 prior to the strike starting. Production would have started in the fall, but now it's not. And when they can, the filming will start sometime in 2024. As for that other bit about everyone returning, who is everyone? As far as I safely assumed and tried to get, gain clarity on, the rumored everyone would include Courtney Cox, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jasmine Brown, Mason Gooding, Josh Shigera, Sagara, our writers, and Hayden Pantier. This does not mean that Nev Campbell won't be back, but it also doesn't mean that she wasn't a part of this of this alleged of these alleged plans for Scream 7. It doesn't mean that she won't be back. Uh and it doesn't mean that she's not a part of the plans for Scream 7 because I did ask for clarity on Sydney and Nev wasn't part of what they had heard about in terms of everyone being back. It's very important to remember this crew, that including Nev Campbell and our directors and writers, they are not obligated to keep doing these movies. They are not obligated to entertain us. We are just very blessed to witness their talent when they do decide to commit to these projects. Scream 5 also, again, was not intended to start a trilogy. Hell, wasn't it originally called Scream Forever? Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below. 
Radio Silence has made it known. We've seen this in interviews. They'd love to see it continue if they aren't involved. And Guy even said he would love or that he loves getting fresh blood involved. So time will tell if any of these rumors come to be. But I don't think Radio Silence will be back. And I do have a feeling Landon got the role to direct at the time. But a change of plans could always have occurred due to all this turmoil in Hollywood right now. So you might not have Landy, you might not, might not have Radio Silence back, or because of all this turmoil and time that has passed, again, that's enough time for them to still decide, hey, you know what, we actually do want to direct Scream 7. But Landon apparently started following Matthew Lillard recently, surging the stew will return stuff, of course. And I will say to that, yippee, <laughs> I guess, because I'm not against stew returning. I'm against Stu being revealed as a lie because I have no confidence that you can establish a coherent story that isn't requiring the highest level of suspending logic to make it work. Thus, the franchise I love is going to end on a sad whimper. And I don't want to see that. I have no faith in any writer being able to construct a coherent, believable narrative that Stu is alive and well. But you guys can let me know what you think about these rumors down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and the video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Them is any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.